My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb. Jake, how do you do? James, big weekend. It was opening weekend and opening week for baseball. Uh, big guy weekend. The apart apartment looks awful right now. I have no laundry. I'm, I'm in a rut. How are you? Did you watch the women's final? I did. And the game before that. Hey. In your face. Make us disappear. Let's both do it on three and Zach will make us disappear. One, two, three. Enough with the rap. Bring the hook right back. Jake, what happened in the sports? James. Mr. Fap. <laughs> Time out. James. <laughs> <laughs> Opening weekend for baseball. And we were looking for like, what was the highlight? Like, oh, Trace Thompson, three homers. Cool dog. Eat a bug. Jim, there was an on-field proposal. A cat ran out on the field, turned, pivot, planted, proposed, Got rocked. Yeah, now when Jake said cat, you were using slang. Because we've had cats we've on had the cats field before, the field. and we've had cats propose. This was a human. We haven't had cats And propose. the security just rocked him, broke his rib, they said, and gave him a concussion. No idea if she Oops. said yes or no. Don't run on the field. Yeah. I would like this tackle to be 15% less. Ooh. I'm over people running on the field. I'm like, uh, when you're a kid, you root for them. I now root for security so hard. Stop running on the field. No one cares about you. I'll come back a little bit. I'm over people going on the field, and we've seen a lot more of it since the clamdemic. If you're going to do it, it's got to count, right? And I mean, proposal. Hey, if she said yes, which she shouldn't, if you're proposing on the field, hard no. Uh, start over. Yeah. A lot of fish in What'd the sea. What'd she say? A lot of fish in the sea. Oh. I like it for him. Hate it for her. You know what the sad part is? He got hurt. She watched him Every get hurt. Every day someone she, dies. She Oh, for sure. A lot. She cried, and someone consoled her. That wasn't him. Oh, she's hooking up with his buddy. Who's not doing that shit. What was this almost a breakdown you were telling me about no, right this before the show? No, this isn't a breakdown. Show. This is a Groove Life wallet. More on that later. Almost a breakdown. I, this is a classic. The two wrestlers are doing their post game, and Snickers sponsors the post game. This reminds me of, of you, someone who just can't say no to treats sometimes. The best part, my favorite part about this is he rips it without looking at it because mm. he's just listening. Oh, I'm listening to what you're saying. Yes. Tell them about our victory and like ripping it down here, <laughs> which is a classics. Hoping it doesn't make a sound move. And then like slowly gets it fully out of the wrapper. Right. You know, you don't take the dog fully out the bun and then eat it. Unless well, you're Jack no, you Doyle. don't want your hands to melt the chocolate. So you keep the wrapper Usually. in between, but, but he doesn't do the that. Crinkles. The crinkles. My Twitter timeline was filled and I was like, nice wrestling makes me want to kind of Get in the ring again. I clicked over to the algorithm side of Twitter by accident. Saw death immediately. Fuck those guys. It's unreal. Go back to the more sports. <laughs> After that? After that. Hey, you did the death thing earlier. Jim. Every day you Yeah, said. I had a tough moment again. Jess is gone. It's me and Noodle in the apartment. And uh, yeah, I mean, young, unfortunate deaths. Oh, God. Jim, I mentioned UConn before the final four is going. You mentioned uh, the women. Congrats to LSU and Iowa. We're gone again. Jim, my UConn Huskies, they're about to win the Final Four tomorrow. Congrats. I'm happy. I'm happy. <laughs> Teams are trying so hard to stop the Huskies that they tried to stop Jonathan the Husky Dog. Three, two, one, four two. and a half. Yeah. You'd like something a little more Harry like... Harry the Husky Hank Dog. Hank the Husky. Hank, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and they tried to keep him off the plane, and then I guess it was a whole thing. Uh, but Delta, three, two, one, five four. and a half. Yeah. And yet, I don't know, you get some good shots of Jonathan the Husky Dog, and uh, we, we got him to Houston, but I guess it was a whole, th a whole thing. They're bringing a dog there? Isn't this normal? Don't dogs go a lot of places? Speaking of uh, animals... Let's go to the not sports. Did you tell me? That's a Groove Life wallet. It's pretty secure and steel. All right. Rescue underway for a pod of dolphins that are stranded by ice in the dildo cave. One more time, just in case I missed it. Rescue is underway for a pod of dolphins stranded by ice in a dildo cave. A pod of white-beaked dolphins was stranded at sea, trapped by ice in the shallow harbor off the coast of Dildo, Newfoundland. For those of us that thought we were being a little raunchy for a minute, this is like saying that there was dolphins caught in the Boston Harbor, mm -hmm. but Boston would be Dildo. Dildoians in the area said they had it witnessed during a dolphins in Dildo Cave for They're decades. They're just called Dildos. Dildoians. It's just Dildos. This is me. I'm a Dildoian. I ain't seen dolphin here in a decade. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way. We shouldn't. We shouldn't bring in. Just for a second. Do you think he'll come in? Yes. Josh. Josh. Weekly Dumb. Big show. Ready? So I need you to read this headline 
Don't think about it. No pausing. Just read it word for word. Rescue on the way for pod of dolphins stranded by ice in Dildo Cove. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> we wanted to call an expert in. It says here, handling a dolphin means attempting to grasp it by its slippery dorsal and pectoral fins. It can't be pulled by its tail. Is that true? It can be pulled by its tail. You're right? the only one in this room that swam with dolphins besides me. You are instructed to not touch their tail. Uh, you think they should just sedate them? Uh, and then throw them on the other side of the ice. Because there's nothing wrong with to date them. You think the dildo? Okay, that dildo says, that's probably just the name of the cove. I don't know where the, why you're even mentioning dildo. So. No, it's the name of the town. That's and, a and town. The, the town. And the people from there are called dildoians. We kind of got to go visit this dildo place. <laughs> oh, now that'll go clip. the episode. <laughs> All right. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> It's the employee of the week. Boom, 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 employee of the week. Boom, 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 employee of the week. Boom, boom, boom. Who's getting it? And while we still have him in here, it's not. It's not Joe's. But if you wanted to give it to someone, I mean, we did a twelve-hour live stream for opening day. Who do you think should? It's not Zach. We can always give it to us. We haven't done that this year yet. We haven't done that this year. I thought we did. We've been crushing it. And you're doing positive self-affirmation, stuff like that, drawing yourself in a mirror skinnier and shit. It's us. That's a tough break, Josh. You came second. That was the Weekly Dumb. Today's episode of the Weekly Dumb was sponsored to you by Groove Life. It's time to update your wallet game. The Groove Life wallet is sleek, low-profile wallet engineered for everyday use. One simple thumb flick perfectly fans out up to six cards for easy access to find everything you need. Head to GrooveLife.com slash dumb and use promo code dumb for 20% off all Groove Life products. One last time, that's promo code dumb for 20% off your order. I guess what's your, because you like dogs, but a dog on the flight, if you're close to a dog, is that going to affect your flight? Well, they're passing all these rules about like peanuts on flights because of allergies, but I, there's cats on flights. I'm like deathly allergic. So it kind of pisses me off on flights. Is... Stop bringing your cat on a flight. Have a non-cat flight because I'm allergic. No, if I'm... I can't bring my peanut butter, I won't bring it. Right. These people can't bring their stupid cats. I Name a smart cat. <laughs> I'm a dog lover. I love seeing, <laughs> I, I get excited when I see a dog on a flight. But I am so against cats on flights that, like, we need to figure out the pet stuff on flights a little more. Because when you, you see that little bag under someone's feet and then the first time it moves and you're like, oh, no, yeah, we can't do this. Giant rat by your feet. 